Hi friends, welcome to Upper Studies YouTube channel. This is part 51 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to read files in Python. Please watch my previous video where I have explained what is file handling in Python. So in this video, we are going to use the same open function what I have discussed in my previous video and then I am going to read the content of the file. So as I said in my previous video, there is a useful function called open that will allow you to create a file object and using that file object you can perform uh, I mean either reading the file or writing the file data to the file or appending data to the file everything you can do it. So in this video as I said let us purely focus on reading the files. So there are couple of useful methods like read and there is something called read line. So these methods actually help you to read the data from the file. How? Let us try to practically see that. So let us go to Visual Studio code here and if you, have, if you remember from my last video under the file explorer. So this is like a python lab file which I have on my desktop I mean in my system. So inside that fo fo folder I have this sample.txt file and this is the content of this file right. So we seen how to uh, create a file object for this file in our last video. So let me do the same thing here hello world. So let us try to add another some, some more content here. This is sample file. This is demo video. So, so I added some content here around three lines of the code I added. So let me save these changes to this file text file and let me close this. Now for example I want to read the content from this sample.txt file. This file is already in the same location what you are seeing here right under C drive users C shake desktop python lab. So this is the path in which this file is available and the same path was selected as my python project here. So since the path is uh, within the terminal I no need to give the full path here. I can only give the file name as well. So let me practically show you that what I mean. So I can use make use of this open function to the open function I can pass my file name actually you need to pass the full path but here you are already inside the same path terminal. So what you can do you can only take the file name. So file name is sample file dot txt right. So let me go to demo dot file here so file name is sample file dot txt. So what this will do this is going to create a file object on top of this file and we can mention where my intention is to read the file. So I can mention the uh, mode here text mode or open text mode. So R means to read the file, W means to write the data to the file, A means to append the data to the file. So all these modes we have discussed in our previous video. So that is why I, I encourage you to please watch the previous video and then come here. So here let us try to save this object in a variable called my file. Now on this file object called my file you will be seeing a method called read. So this method actually helps you to read the content of the entire file. So let us try to read the entire content of the file and then print that content here. So let me use this print function. Let me save these changes. Now if I execute my python demo.python file see it is printing the content without any issue. So same way what if, if I have some other file in different locations. So let us assume I have a abcd.txt file here in this path. If I open this abcd.txt file this has some junk data. Let me show you that. So this is the junk data what I have this file. So now what I want I want to take the data from this abcd.txt file and show it in my python code. So let me take this path here control a control c then go to python. So here since this path is different this is not within the same terminal. So let us use the full path here and this this symbols are like escape characters. So we need to make sure to es escape them by adding another slash here. So let me add add slashes here. So let me add everywhere. So wherever you see that slash you need to make sure to escape it then only it will work. It will take it as a correct path or else it will fail. So now what is the file name? So my file name is abcd ok control z. So my file name is abcd.txt ok. So now if you closely observe the code I have given the path and then I have, uh, I have given the read mode also like r and then I am using the read function to read the content of it. So let me save these changes here and now let me execute this code. So this time I am able to read the content of the text file right see properly. So that is how you do that. So what if, if I want to read only uh, so this read function right if you see the intelligence it you can pass the size also maybe I want to read uh, maybe starting 5 characters or 10 characters something like that you can do that. What you can do is uh, you need to you need to pass that uh, name uh, size okay in integer. So if I if I pass size as 6 let us assume. So let me save these changes. Now what will happen if I execute this code see it is going to print only 6 characters if you see the starting 6 characters only it printed right because of this size. Not only this there is something called read line read line function. So if you use this read line function 
what this will do this is going to take each line and print it so for example if you if you use this one time it is going to print the first line so let me save these changes here and if i rerun this code see it printed the first line uh, if i use the same code once again then it is going to read the second line so let me paste it here let me save these changes and now let me re-execute this see it printed the second line also so first line is this one so it printed and then it printed the second line also so like that so not only this you can loop through this each every line actually so what you can do you can use a for loop here for maybe line or my file name file line in my file object print file line so let me save these changes let me run this code you will make sense of it so if i run this code see all the lines of the code all the lines of my file got printed so why because uh, whenever you use a for loop on top of your file object it is going to take each line into this variable and it will perform the iteration and it will print that line and again the second iteration take the second line into this variable and print the second line so like this you can perform the loop also and also whenever you work with file objects in python always you need to make sure at the end of your logic to close that file so on top of this file object there is something called close method you need to make sure to close the changes that is a recommended way or else uh, sometimes right uh, your changes will not get saved okay so this is the best practice always you need to make sure to close the object once you used or once you are done with your logic so let me save these changes now and now let me clear this here console and let me re-execute this so what happened uh, it, it created a file object here and then try to perform a loop by taking each line into this variable and printed every line of the file and then at the last it closed the file okay so let me go to presentation now so this is what so as i said we can use this uh, number here to the read function to to indicate that what size how many characters you want to back and you can use this read line method to take every line from the file and you, if you use this multiple times then every line will be taken and also if you want to loop through each line use the for loop and then use your file object whatever you created here i created a file object called f and this is going to take each line into this variable and it will print and as i said always make sure to close your file using this close method at the end of your logic okay so this is how you can very easily play with uh, files to read the content from them i hope you got the idea thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much